Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In today's video, we are having one very interesting question on rational equations. Equation is x plus 1 whole power 6 plus x minus 3 whole power 6 or x power 6 plus x minus 2 whole power 6 equal to 2 power 6. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started with our substitution. If you will see on a number line, numbers are minus 1. 2, 3 and x power 6 is also there, so 0. So if I will search the middle point, then it will be 1. So our substitution would be let x minus 1 equal to a. So I will substitute here x plus 1 is required. So let's write first x plus 1 will be a plus 2. x minus 3 will be a minus 2, x will be a plus 1 and last bracket x minus 2 will be a minus 1. Let's put over there, it will convert into variable a. So x plus 1 whole power 6, I will be writing a plus 2 whole power 6, x minus 3 whole power 6, a minus 2 whole power 6 divided by x power 6. So a plus 1 whole power 6 and x minus 2 whole power 6 I will be writing a minus 1 whole power 6 RHS will be 2 power 6 64. Now I will use binomial expansion Pascal triangle. Let's get started. So I will be writing a plus 2 whole power 6 expansion. So I need coefficients also. So I will use Pascal triangle. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1 and last 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. This is our required coefficient list. So I will write here first and last all together. I will club these two. Then coefficient 6 I will take common. Then coefficient 15 I will take common and 20 will be individual single. So I will be writing a power 6 plus 2 power 6 at the beginning first and last coefficient plus it is 6 times a power 5 times 2 plus a times 2 power 5. 6 is over. Now 15. 15 I will take common. Then in bracket I will be writing a power 4 2 is square plus a is square 2 power 4. And with coefficient 20 I will be writing only 20 times a cube 2 cube. Done. Once we have to write the expansion of a minus 2 whole power 6. Then I will replace here 2 with minus 2. So where it will really impact? It would be here and it would be here where power of 2 is odd. So let us write our numerator. So I will be writing numerator equal to a plus 2 whole power 6 plus a minus 2 whole power 6. So these terms will be over as plus and minus sign. So remaining is our numerator. So I will be writing here a power 6 plus 2 power 6. So 64 plus 15 in bracket 4a power 4 plus 2 power 4 is 16. So 16a square. Now I will simplify a bit. So it will become a power 6 plus 15 times 4, 60 a power 4 plus 15 times 16, 240 a square and constant term 64. So this is our simplified numerator. Similarly, I will solve for denominator. So let's solve for denominator. I will write denominator here. It is 
a plus 1 whole power 6 plus a minus 1 whole power 6. Let us write coefficients once. So 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. These are our expansion coefficients. So let us expand. I will be writing here a plus 1 whole power 6 first. Then I will replace 1 with minus 1 for a minus 1 expansion formula. So it will become, I will club these two all together same way. 6 and 6, 15 and 15 and 20 will be individual. So I will be writing a power 6 plus 1 power 6, so 1 plus coefficient 6 is common. I will be writing a power 5 plus a. With coefficient 15, I will be writing a power 4 plus a square. And with central coefficient 20, I will be writing 20a cube. Now, once I will change in between sign minus means this expansion, then it will affect only with odd powers of a here and here. So once I will write our denominator, let's write denominator equal to a plus 1 whole power 6 plus a minus 1 whole power 6. These term will be over. So remaining I will write a power 6 plus 1 plus 15 a power 4 plus 15 a square. If I will simplify it is not required, only rearrangement a power 6 plus 15 a power 4 plus 15 a square plus 1. This is our denominator. Now I have to plug in both the values in the equation. Let's write. So it will become numerator over denominator equal to numerator was a power 6 plus 60a power 4 plus 240a square plus 64. Denominator was a power 6 plus 15a power 4 plus 15a square plus 1. And RHS was 64. Now I will use substitution. So let us consider A square is equal to T. As we are calculating real solutions, so T must be positive. Once T will be negative, A square is negative, complex values of A will come. So we will reject. So we will collect only those values of T where T is positive. Okay, let's substitute. So I will be writing here t cube plus 60t square plus 240t plus 64 divided by t cube plus 15t square plus 15t plus 1 equal to 64. Denominator cannot be 0. As you can see here. Now I will cross multiply. So I can write equation. And let me write in the simplified form. So what we will get after simplification. It will be 63. Let me write here. 63 t cube. Plus 900 t square. Plus 720 t. Equal to 0. Now t is common and equation is divisible by 9. So I will take t common and I will write after dividing 9 it will be 7t square plus 100t plus 8t equal to 0. Product 0 rule I will write here t equal to 0 and this quadratic will be 0. Let's write t equal to 0. This is one result and that quadratic equation it was 7t square plus 100t 
प्लस एट्टी इक्वल टू जीरो लेट सॉल्व दिस क्वाड्रेटिक फर्स्ट वेदर वी आर हैविंग रियल सॉल्यूशन और नॉट सो आई विल राइट टी इक्वल टू माइनस बी सो माइनस हंड्रेड प्लस माइनस अंडर द रूट बी स्क्वायर सो हंड्रेड स्क्वायर वन टू थ्री फोर जीरो माइनस फोर ए सी फोर टाइम्स सेवन टाइम्स एट्टी इट इज टू थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी डिवाइडेड बाई टू ए सो फोर्टीन ए इज सेवन इक्वल टू माइनस हंड्रेड प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ इफ आई विल सब्ट्रैक्ट दिस वे और वी कैन राइट डायरेक्टली स्क्वायर रूट वैल्यू सो इट विल बिकम नाइंटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव divided by 14 this value is coming about you can see both values are negative both are negative values so we will reject this quadratic for our real solution as t must be positive for real solutions so only accepted value of t is t equal to 0 now what was t t was a square so let me write here a square is equal to 0 now what was a a was x minus 1 so i will be writing x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0 so from here we'll have x equal to 1 with multiplicity 2 this is our final solution let's verify so i will write here check x equal to 1 okay lhs i will be writing 1 plus 1 whole power 6 plus 1 minus 2 1 minus 3 whole power 6 over 1 power 6 plus 1 minus 2 whole power 6 so 2 power 6 plus minus 2 power 6 over 1 plus minus 1 power 6 so 2 power 6 plus 2 power 6 over 1 plus 1 now i can write it is 2 power 7 or we can write like this first over 2 then we can cancel like this equal to 2 power 6 which is our rhs hence x equal to 1 is true and verified solution and this brings the end of this video thank you so much for watching friends do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself bye bye